hello guys welcome back in this video we will be exploring the table component of and design a bit more in this video we will explore how to add selection on different rows of a table and how to add different selection options on the table and even the customized ones to select different rows all right so let's get started so i have a default app component uh, in react.js project and it right now it's showing nothing so let's try to add a table component from the end design so let's try to add that and let's try to declare its columns as well so suppose we want to show the data of a student so suppose the columns are uh, we can say it student id and data index could be id and let's copy it three to four times to show different columns of a student data suppose this was student id it's the second column is suppose student name and third column is suppose student grade and the data index was id second data index we can say name the third we can say the grade let's declare the data source as well that will be equal to so suppose the key is one and its id is also suppose one the student id this one and the name is suppose student name one and uh, create could be a plus right so let's copy this one to four to five times to give a table four to five rows of a student data right the student name one suppose two two then two suppose the grade is a the third student with id three names it's also three i suppose this grade is b and the fourth student and with id4 suppose the grade is c let's declare one more student and five 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 and suppose the grade is again a right so in the table we can say its columns are columns we declared above and its data source is data source we declared above save it and it should show here here you go the first column second column third column and let's try to make these as tags instead of uh, the simple tags to look it uh, good so we add our custom render and it will give us a tag and what we will be going to do is we return us tag and its value will be again a tag and for the color uh, let's choose cost color is equal to tag dot if if tag in includes a then suppose we can say the color is green and if the tag includes b then suppose we wanna say the color is blue and suppose when the else we can say it is red right and to this tag we can color it to uh, with the color we declared above and it's key is simple the tag right save it 
height is not defined let's declare the tag here you go a plus a b c and a right and now uh, to add a selection for a row we only need to do is you want to say row selection and you can only say true it will show the row selection here you see i can now select different rows and you can select and deselect all right and suppose uh, this is the default one if suppose we want to add different things here so suppose we want to say instead of the checkbox we want the, uh, the selection type to be uh, radio so we will select the radio here save it and it will be radio so we will we only be able to select one row at a time right and uh, if we want us to check which of the rows is selected so that will be on select and it will give us the record which was selected for now let's only console the record save it and if i select this one you see the record two the record fifth one with key five is selected right so let's change the row selection from radio to back to the checkbox and save it here you go back to checkbox and suppose uh, let's proceed and suppose we want to say that whenever this component loads uh, we want to say that some of the uh, rows are auto selected so there might be a use case that uh, if there's only single row so we want to say that uh, it is auto selected so for that let's declare a state uh, variable here we want to say uh, already already selected rows and suppose its initial value will be the uh, the keys we want to say that this should be auto selected suppose we want to say the key one and suppose the key three are auto selected so whenever this component loads okay we have declared those and here we will say that selected row keys are already selected we have declared above and on change of the keys if user uh, changes it so we want to have the, uh, that that track as well so we will say that set already selected to the one user has changed it so by default it will be this one and if user changes it it will be this one right so save it so by default the row one and three we declare here one and three those will be selected and if user changes it to so three this is unselected selected so it will go that way and there could be a use case that we want to say that disabled one of the uh, row suppose if the grade is c we want to disable it so for that uh, we will say that for checkbox props so it will give us the record and in the record we will be declare as uh, saying that the checkbox is disabled if the record dot grade is equal to equal to c so if it is a c grade we want to disable it uh, sorry it is a json yeah save it and refresh here you go the fourth one is no disabled uh, the student with c grade is disabled you can select it and if you just remove it save it you will begin selectable right okay so 
this is the uh, default selection so if we uh, we check here it will select all and we click again it will deselect all so suppose we want to say that uh, we want to allow only the the selection on the rows only not here so for that there is another property uh, selection hide select all to be true so that will hide this one okay so it has hidden this one right so let's show this again and play it a little more so right now we can only select all or deselect all so suppose we want to say that uh, select few rows or select the even rows select the odd rows or select the rows which have created this one things like that so for that we will be saying that the selections array so we have few selections available from the table component so let's use those first so let's say that table dot selection none so nothing uh, the option for uh, deselecting all of these or some of to deselecting all of all of our if all of our selected before or some of our selected so it will deselect everything and then we will say set dot select suppose select all and there is other one suppose select invert invert is like so right now one and three are selected so if we select this option it will uh, uh, select the not selected one so it will select two four and five and if Two, four, and five are selected. We press this again. It will select three and one. So inverse of each other, right? So let's save it. And now you see here a little arrow appeared. So if we go there, so it's give us all of these options. So clear all data. Select none of these. Select all. Select select all. And invert current page. That means. Uh, uh, before all of these was selected so it has selected uh, it has reverted that so right now if one and two are selected and if I choose invert so it should select three four and five right and if I invert this again this one invert again so the remaining ones right and here we can show our uh, custom selection options as well so suppose we want to say select only the even rows so for that we will be adding an object here with the key we can say even and the text that will be shown to the user suppose select even rows and on select we uh, it will give us all keys and we will be returning only the keys uh, which we want to be selected so all keys dot filter and key return the key its value will be one two three so the key remainder two is equal to equal to if zero that means it is an uh, even row so we can declare a variable here let's say selected rows or selected keys is equal to this and we will, we will say set already selected rows to selected keys we select filtered here right and let's save it and come here you see select even rows and if i select on there so it has selected the even rows right let's go a step further and uh, display here another option for selecting only the rows of the students which have a or a, a plus grades so for that we will be declaring a similar object we have already declared for selecting even rows so suppose we want to say that uh, 
select this select uh, students with excellent grades and I suppose the key is excellent and here instead of doing this one we will be uh, going finding from the data source uh, the student uh, whose uh, whose key is equal to the key we declared above and student grade includes uh, the a grade right we will returning this one and we can say that const is excellent is equal to this if we find something we return it return is excellent right and save it it will return the only those students uh, which have the given keys and uh, we want to from all of the keys it will filter on the student which have the key we are going to filter and have the a grade right we will save it and come back to the app students that uh, select student with excellent grade is option is shown and if we could do this so it will select only the rows which have a or a plus, a plus grades right clear it select it again so it's working so all of the options so here in this way we can add any of the options here and we can even select uh, by default select few of the rows disable few of the rows disable these selection icons change this checkbox to ready button so all of these options are available right right so uh, that's it on exploring the selection options on the table so if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you